This just in. Fourth graders at ABW raise awareness about the Great Lakes, characteristics, functioning, and value. Here's Landon and Caitlin to explain more about limnology, uh, Principle 5. The Great Lakes support a broad diversity of life and ecosystems. This deep dive into the Great Lakes began with the study of limnology on Trout Lake in Vilas County. In March, our fourth graders class was invited to Trout Lake Research Station where we worked with real-life scientists to learn about water clarity, zooplankton, and relationship between human interacts and the environment. After our trip to Trout Lake, students and Trout Lake scientists returned to the classroom where they continued their learning about water quality, fishery production, and invasive species. We examined zooplankton with microscopes and learned about the impact of human activity on the food web. Finally, we learned the importance of the environmental factors of temperature, human interaction, and the interdependence between humans and all living organisms, no matter how tiny or transparent to the naked eye. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing about how we humans affect the environment every day in, in every way. Now here's Ruby and Kennedy to help us learn more about the next principle, which is number six. The Great Lakes and humans in their water sets are inextricably interconnected. As part of our study of the Great Lakes, we learned about how invasive species are endangering the waters that we rely on for our way of life. We are committed to being stewards of natural resources and to teach others how we can keep our natural resources healthy. As experts, we share our research with the third graders at ABW who ask us questions and provide feedback on our AIS posters and reflections. Thanks Ruby and Kennedy. These posters will be made into placemats for area restaurants to educate tourists on what they can do to keep our waters clean and healthy for all of us to enjoy. Next up will be Dana and Lucy to explain to us about Principle 7, which is the fact that much remains to be learned about the Great Lakes. Our studies of the Great Lakes has led us to understand our most valuable community, our Great Lakes, which holds so many stories, both written and oral, of the past. We studied shipwrecks of the Great Lakes as well as the stories of the people who sailed and worked on them. One of our favorites was the story of the Mouse Simmons and how Captain Santa would bring Christmas trees from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to bring them to the children of Chicago. Using online games and resources have inspired our curiosity to learn and share more with each other in our local communities. Our work will be reproduced and our message will be clear. Here is how you can help preserve our Great Lake resources, our great lakes, and local waterways. Great work, Lucy and Dana. And finally, here's Bruce, Max, Jarrett, and Russell to share awareness about Principle 8. The Great Lakes are socially, economically, and environmentally significant to the region, the nation, and the planet. This means that our waterways are globally important to everyone. We continued our studies of natural resources by visiting the Quincy Mine, learning to draw fish in art class, and even went fishing, which is which was part of our hooked on fishing, not on drugs unit in guidance class. As AVW students, we recognize the importance of our natural resources and how our lakes are important to our community and way of life. We have learned that we all rely on our natural resources to survive and have learned from our natural Native American peers, how these resources are an integral piece of Wisconsin history and culture. culture. The Great Lakes have provided economic resources including mining, shipping on the Great Lakes, and deep history of global cultures coming together to de develop a community based on common values of and way of life. It has been a way of life since the beginning of time. Over our study of the Great Lakes, we have learned how fishing is important to many in the Great Lakes region, socially and economically. Most importantly, we have learned the social and emotional 
commitment that bonds us together to share our greatest gifts of nature. Thanks everybody for your input. This public service announcement has been brought to you by APW 4th graders in Wisconsin Sea Grant. Remember, we are crew, not passengers.